Hello guys, my name is Jenya and you are in for yet another clean, organized and declutter with me today, as well as some painting and some furniture rearrangement. We'll even go through a box of wires. So I'd like to say that we will be doing some heavy duty organization today as I will be bringing in a new piece of furniture or rather old piece of furniture that we will renovate real quick and we will treat it as an organizer for some crafts of mine and mine and my husband's electronics. We'll clean the living room area and I'll be bringing some new curtains today and also organize clean and declutter the dining room area which has my catch-all area that cannot wait anymore for our attention. So a bunch of cleaning and organizing to get you motivated to do some cleaning and maybe some small or even large changes and upgrades in your own home. So the first thing we have this sad looking but very practical organizer on our hands that I got given by my husband's relative for free. We're gonna start by taking off this adhesive paper and believe it or not I was the one to put it on because I was trying to bring up the color of this organizer about a year ago when I didn't have any practice of painting furniture whatsoever. I just didn't know what to do so I decided to just put some adhesive paper on it. Maybe that'll work. But I didn't so here I am trying to take it off with some hair dryer to heat it up so it doesn't rip off as I'm taking it off. I'm going to use some real paint this time. As a matter of fact, it's chalk paint, a little bit off-white color. I use different brands, so whatever I have in my garage, I'll be using that. So my name is Jenya and I come from Russia. I have been married to my American husband for about three years now and we have two kids together and a kitty. Our kids are a two-year-old girl, Anya, and she's about to turn three, and Max is my son, he is one. Our kitty is named Katya, she's three years old because we got her on the first week of our marriage. On this channel, you'll find a lot of real-life cleaning, organizing, and decluttering, as well as an occasional makeover. I like showing you my real-life messes in the house, as well as doing things on a budget whenever I can. It's actually not a question of me liking to put out my dirty, disgusting areas of my house out there, rather than whether I like it or not, they're there and they need cleaning. And with all of those areas on my to-do list, I just don't have the time to set them up or pre-clean them before I put them on camera and all of that nonsense. Neither do I want to. So I hope you enjoy True Mess and watching it get cleaned. Anyway, I hope today's video will bring you plenty of inspiration to clean your house with me and organize it if that's your goal and maybe even take it a step farther and maybe paint something or do some upgrades, hang up a shelf that you've been meaning to do or something like that or whatever it is that you like doing. But if your goal is to sit down and relax and watch a video, I couldn't be happier for you. I personally love watching cleaning and organizing videos right before I go to bed as a relaxing activity for me. I know that is screen time right before bed, but that's just what relaxes a lot of people, I believe, and I know that a lot of you guys do that too. Actually, on a lot of days, that's my only screen time that I get, and I wish I'd have more screen time in my life. But I have a couple of kids instead and a few hobbies that keep me busy and make me happy, and I'd love to get more hobbies in my life, but there is and always the time. Especially now that the gardening season has started, I have been planting tomato and cucumber plants in my new container gardening that I'm trying to set up. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna spend more money or save more money, but it definitely has been one of the most enjoyable mental therapies that I have tried so far. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you're a gardener and if you are, how are your tomatoes and cucumbers doing this year? Also, I am noticing all of the new friends here on my channel and I would love to get to know you guys, even a little bit. What I'm mostly curious about is where are you guys located? I know some of you are from Portugal and Belgium, Russia and the UK. I have lived in London and I absolutely loved it. So what other countries are you guys watching from? As for the most of you who are here in America, which state are you guys in? I am here in the state of Georgia, but I have been to a couple of other states. I have lived in New Jersey for quite a bit. I drove through the beauty of Carolinas and Virginia, spent a weekend in Tennessee, spent some money in Pennsylvania and of course Florida and New York and of course I'd love to see more of this beautiful country and for now why don't you let me know which state are you from or what country and what are you up to today are you cleaning gardening or just relaxing let me know in the comment section below this video anyway that's enough chatting as soon as I'm done with this dresser in just a minute we are going to start our cleaning and organizing process
this is what it looks like after the first coat. In case you're wondering, about 80% of the time it's gonna look worse before it gets beautiful. This is after the second coat. I'm gonna start distressing this piece of furniture now because I'm going for a farmhouse look. Farmhouse look might be going out of style or will eventually, but that's the most practical look I can think of for my house right now. Since our townhouse is on the smaller side, especially for our needs right now, I am trying to bring in light furniture as much as I can to make it seem bigger. But no matter how much white, nice looking and clean furniture I bring into the house, coming from experience I can't hope for it to stay snowflake white since I have two tiny kids running around and it's always gonna get scratched on and painted on. So I decided to get ahead and scratch it before they do and plus I do love the look. My favorite chalk paint for crafts and furniture has been Waverly Ivory paint from Walmart, but I have started spending too much money on small cans of it and have decided to invest in a bigger can which is called Chalked, and that's the one I am using on this dresser. I am loving it. Look for the links in the description below this video if you are interested in any of them. Get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. I am simply wiping dust off with a dump cloth and to protect my work I will spread on some clear wax since wax is the best option for protecting chalk paint in my opinion. So I'd like to spray paint my hardware white, but those cans always break so annoying. I'm going to use primer with white color in it that I had on hand. We're now walking into our downstairs area and our finished furniture product is going to replace that blue desk on the left over there. I think that right next to my personal desk it will serve as a nice organizer for my Cricut printer and hopefully some crafts. So I've run upstairs for just a second and as I come back my husband has already put the new organizer into place. I don't know how he does that. We'll organize that organizer in just a minute but first let's start with some wires. Only God knows what's in here and it's mostly my husband's stuff so I'm gonna do a nice thing and just go through all of the wires and separate them as I can. So far my categories include just a couple of wires that I certainly do know that we need. I'm just putting them right on the table. The blue bin includes wires that I don't know if we need and need to ask husband. The black bin has sort of question mark non-wire products and things that I also need to ask husband. Everything else is trash. I'm definitely gonna have some things for my husband to go through this weekend. I'm getting all those categories for him. The orange basket is with the things I think we need, but double check. And the green basket is I really don't think we need those, but double check. So the orange basket is like I said, I think we need that and I'm gonna put it into a container and put away. And the blue basket is just to show my husband how much I love him and ask him to go through that. 
Lately, I've been trying to find some extra storage spaces in my home because I'm decluttering my garage finally and I've decided to stop treating it as please throw it all right here area. So that's where the wires came from and now they're moving to on top of my huge shelf in the dining room area, which you will see in just a second. So I'm looking into spaces like that that a lot of us don't use but certainly could. For example, we could totally utilize the space on the very top of our kitchen cabinets and I'm looking for more spaces like that. And while storing things we don't use on a daily basis into spaces like that, I am also going to do my best to use light color bins or containers as they are, in my opinion, less noticeable because they blend in with the light walls better and they won't feel as heavy on the room. Anyway, it is now a different day and the place is a little bit messier than the other day, so we need to start doing some cleaning here. And it didn't take us long at all to start stuffing this new organizer with just things and you'll see a little bit more in a minute. So I'll start organizing everything here. I am using Autobahn to clean around this area today and I know I need a new sticker on, the, on that bottle. I am keeping track of all my stickers and labels that I need to make in my organizer until I have a line of them waiting on my Cricut machine. So that way I can dedicate a couple of hours for this and make them all at once and label everything I need to label at that moment in time. It is actually quite a process and I find it that it saves me time in the long run to do it all together every once in a while. I got these new curtains from Amazon. I got them quite a while ago. I put them on for a minute, then I took them off for some reason, then I washed them and all this process. Basically, today is the big day, I'm putting them on. And let me tell you, I absolutely love, love, love these. Attention. 
see those are the things I'm not really good at. I don't know how to put this blanket on my chair in such a casual but kind of pretty way like they do in magazines. Let me know in the comments if you like the way I put this blanket on my chair. I'm also using this the biggest blanket in our house that I could find to cover up this couch that I just can't stand the color of and the fact that it's leather it's always kind of cold to sit on or you get sweaty in summer and it's sticky. Just don't like it period and I want to get a cover for it but I got one I didn't like it I had to return it I'm still looking for you know for one I'm gonna spray Audubon on that stain that wouldn't come off to soak it a little bit and come back to it in a minute my glass was always half empty but now you're in my life we're far away from the city while I was cleaning this area, for some reason I didn't notice that hairy thing on the right. I only noticed it when I was editing this video and I thought I'd let you know because otherwise you would be like, well, who is that? And it's a mouse, guys, not to worry. It's just a mouse, but <laughs> I'm kidding. It's my kitty's mouse that she plays with and I just didn't see it. So I will take it out, I promise, and every time my mother-in-law comes to visit, she always seems to run into this mouse everywhere she goes. I, I don't know if my cat does it on purpose, but <laughs> if she thinks it's a real one every time, so it is so funny, but it's mean, <laughs> sorry. So I'm gonna use some essential oil on that sticker on the floor but however it got me thinking that it's quite expensive to clean your floors like that because I got stickers all over my floors and those essential oils are expensive. I was wondering if using regular regular olive oil would do the same thing but I haven't tried it yet. So if you have any good alternatives in mind that are quite affordable please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments I'd appreciate that. So I hope you like the curtains as much as I am. Let me know what you think in the comment section if you wish. And in the meantime, I noticed that I missed this area. How? I don't know. But it really is the time to wrap this room up and move on to our next dining room area because we have some stuff to declutter and organize that organizer, remember? So I don't know why we call it dining room area, we treat it more as a casual area and we hardly ever dine in here simply because there is no space, but it's funny to mention that when I was done with it and it was all nice and clean, my husband came back home and he said, oh, he forgot that we had a table under there. <laughs> But anyway, we'll go through this so-called dining room area and I'll bring in a box of crafts from the garage and we'll go through those real quick and put them into my organizer, new organizer, and you'll see how beautiful everything turns out. Now they don't pick us up, instead they knock us down 
knock us down And that's the way it goes Until we're in the ground No, they don't pick us up Instead, they knock us down And that's the way it goes Until we're in the ground No, they don't pick us up Instead, they knock us down And that's the way it goes Until we're in the ground I don't want to do this anymore No, I just want to say So I'm just lightly wiping off the table right now to make working on it a little bit easier and I'll wipe it off again really well after this organization is done. My husband decided to dedicate this space to himself, he put his computer and his gaming stuff in here, so let him have it. I am going to also, I guess, let him have the first drawer and the bottom three will go to my crafts. And my Cricut and my printer will go on top of this dresser, which they already are, but I just need to kind of move them around to make it all look nice. Also, I used to already keep my crafts, as you can see, in this organizer in the garage. And now I'm just reorganizing everything, making it look nice and adding some crafts from the garage to this organizer. Speaking of, here they are. That's the box with my crafts. And you stole my time and I live my life with you. Should have known that you never... So I didn't even know I had that many ropes as I do. Uh, it's good to go through your stuff and organize stuff sometimes because you'll find a lot of things you first are looking for and second just useful items, period. But anyway, not all of this stuff is gonna be kept in this organizer because of my little baby that is that can choke on anything. So all of the smaller stuff like wooden beads and little rings everything that's small and detailed is gonna go back into the garage and get organized there on a different date obviously but everything that's big and not dangerous is gonna stay in this organizer as far as crafts How you know that your kids are growing up is when they start bringing home some papers with drawings and little activities that you're supposed to keep for yourself or when they grow up, I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna keep putting them into that little box for now, I guess, if you can call it a box. And my plan is to go through them every once in a while and discard what I can and keep what I want and not let it get out of control. But yes, now that my daughter is about to turn three, I've noticed a quite an increase in those papers and just appearing everywhere and that's a new item to organize. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get 
It was hard to fit them both, Cricut and the printer, on top of that organizer, but as I played around with them, I found a way. And I think the greenery, some greenery on top of that helped to kind of take your eye away from the electronics. Also, guys, why are we in this century still have so many wires? I hate wires. So I'm just gonna give you an overview of how I decided to leave things in this organizer. Everything is nice and neat, it's got my crafts, some hooks and things, and my daughter's papers and my papers as well, and of course my husband's computer and gaming stuff with our electronics on top of the organizers. So please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this organizer. I am personally in love with it, but I still love your feedback as well. If you like the color, if you like the flowers on top, and if you think that it's a good idea for me to keep electronics on top, and if it works, what do you think? Anyway, I'm just gonna vacuum the floor, do some touch-ups in this area and make sure that our entryway is not stuffed so to a point where we can't walk through it. And you'll see my entryway in just a second. Somebody that I used to know Some I am my enemy The new rule in our house from a few months ago is to keep all of the kids' toys upstairs in their playroom area. None of the toys are allowed downstairs overnight. But now, as you can see, I'm starting with this exception of bringing the bookshelf back down here because I just thought it would be nice for them to keep a couple of books down here. I'm just hoping that's not a start of me to allow a bunch of toys down here again. I'll never want to get to that point again like it was a few months ago and I'll do my best not to. This is our entryway area where all the stuff that goes upstairs comes downstairs just going out and coming in ends up and there is nothing I can do about it so I'll just quickly throw everything in different directions and try and vacuum but my vacuum is gonna run out of battery so let me just show you the after pictures guys. I really desperately wanted to get to the kitchen in this video, however, there is only so much time in a day. I had to run and I'm sure you're tired now anyway. I hope you enjoyed today's video, I hope you got plenty of motivation, I hope to see you in my next one, have a good weekend, bye bye.